Hello guys, welcome back to Challenge 1000 Part 6. Today I'm going to show you how I'm planning to drive even more visitors to my blog than what I'm going to be trying to drive from Yahoo Answer. First of all, let me show you my Yahoo Answers account. Since yesterday I have spent some time giving answers and I have come to 178 points from 107 points. Here on the left it says my activities. I'm going to click on it and here you can keep track of the points you're getting. As you can see I even got a best answer vote that gives you 10 points. But the fact is I have spent quite a bit of time giving answers and getting points so that I can get to the 250 and be able to get uh, links inside the answers I give. So you continue to do the same but for now let's go to Google and what I'm going to do is do a search for forums on alternative medicine. Of course you will do a search on forums on the subject that uh, you are working on. So let's do the search see what comes up. Chances are you're going to have to wade through the many choices you will find because there is all kinds of forums in any area you can think of. Here is one health forums, cure zones forums. I'm going to click on it and what I see here is that this is a gateway to a whole bunch of different forums which means I could spend a lifetime trying to sign up on all these different forums and interact uh, with people there so I'm going to go through and pick out the best one for me. What I found out as I went through this was that uh, all I had to do was sign up for uh, one time and then I'd have access to all of those forums that were listed on this page. So this is uh, a big uh, enterprise. You can see here that uh, it has 18,028 visitors online at this time. Now in a forum like this I will probably find a lot of restrictions on what I can post but I am going to go on and investigate this so I'm going to log in. Now I have logged in and uh, the first thing that you want to do when you sign up in a forum is to take care of uh, creating a profile for yourself and uh, it is always going to be different. Uh, the setup in these forums is uh, something that you're going to have to investigate. I have never been to this forum before so I'm guessing that if I click on my ID here it will take me to a place where I can have a personal profile set up and just as I guessed uh, this gives you the opportunity to change things uh, on your personal profile so I'm going to go to this link here edit account you can see I have choices on whether to see ads or not uh, to the outlay of the pages I'm just going to leave the, all that alone because I am on a investigative mission here it seems that they will allow you to be anonymous on uh, your posts and I'm guessing that's because uh, this forum has a lot to do with health care and uh, these things uh, people want to keep private. Here we're getting to some critical things. It allows visitors to send personal messages and emails after you post a message and this I want to check. I want to allow anybody that wants to contact me do so. Then I want to get notifications on uh, direct replies to my posts and this says get notification on thread replies which means that uh, I would be notified anytime that somebody answers on a thread even if it is not answering to my question and I want to get notifications here too because I want to keep track of what's going on on the thread in this forum and if you don't know what thread is, thread is just a conversation within uh, the forum. Somebody starts a conversation, somebody gives an answer, another gives another answer, that is a thread within the forum. 
this will give me the option to stop the private messages and allow the emails but I'm not going to stop anything here it's asking me for personal information I'm not going to do anything with that but at the bottom here it says update your and now I'm going to go back to home and you can see here on the left is my personal spot at this point I have clicked on uh, this uh, link uh, where uh, somebody has posted something about the flu vaccine and I'm going to want to respond to it and here is the critical part when we respond we're going to see if this uh, forum gives you the option to put links inside your answer there are some uh, forums that will not allow you to do that and there is no reason to waste your time with those forums the good news with this forum as I found uh, a little bit ago is that when I go here to reply I get down here the option to either be on text mode or to be on the FCK mode or a tiny MCE mode. Now what the FCK mode is an HTML editor which allows you to put in links. So I'm going to click on this and as you can see here I have uh, to put my answer inside this uh, box. However for some reason when I click here it does not allow me to put in uh, a cursor to start writing it may have something to do with the fact that I'm a new member here so I'm going to try to the tiny MCE editor and lo and behold this will allow me to write uh, my answer the important thing is to have the option to put a link you can see that there is a link here and let's see if it works let me type a little text and uh, highlight it and you can see this thing came on I can insert a link so we're good this is going to be a good forum to work on as I went through this uh, post I saw that this person is uh, uh, having some hostile ideas about alternative medicine and he supports uh, flu vaccines so what I'm going to do is I am going to say something personal I don't want to challenge his belief but remember that uh, many people read these blogs and uh, they may be able to find something useful in what I have to give them and who knows even a person that is negative towards alternative medicine may check out something when he's approached in a friendly and non-threatening way so I have been working in healthcare facility for 13 years and what I have seen is making me very skeptical about the flu vaccine it seems that no matter whether our clients get the vaccine or not they get sick during the winter anyway I have refused the vaccine and I have never called in sick all this time recently I ran into a blog now this is my blog but I'm not telling them it is my blog you may want to check out it certainly gives one a lot of th uh, a lot to think about and here I have the name of the URL but the name is not going to take them there I have to put a link and uh, I'm going to highlight this and uh, put the link insert link and I have already I uh, picked out my link from my site let's see if it is correct no it's not correct you have to be sure that this is right when you have the option here to put the new frame into another uh, window you should do that because you don't want to be competing with uh, the forum you're in open in a new window and uh, I am going to insert and here you can see this is put in the link and I filled it out and I'm going to send message and here we have that the message was accepted and we're going to return to the previous forum 
The difficult thing about these forums is that each one of them has their own uh, features and you always have to be able to improvise and there is going to be a lot of times you're having a lot of questions so uh, we're going to form a Facebook account for Challenge 1000 and there you can come and ask uh, me and ask uh, everybody else that's participating so that you can get the help that you need with uh, this and with other uh, subjects. So for now uh, try to get uh, onto some forums, sign up on them and start uh, posting answers to people and starting to interact so that you can promote your blog.